Good morning and welcome to part two of a criminal justice research video. Uh, if you feel pretty comfortable using our discovery search box, which we went into in the previous video, or if you feel pretty comfortable with that from another class, you'll still want to take the few minutes here to dig deeper into some of our other databases for criminal justice research with the specific tools we have for this major and program. CJ Abstracts, for example, here right underneath the search box, only searches criminal justice journals, so your results will be much more focused. This is helpful if you're researching something like domestic violence. Uh, searching Discovery, the Discovery search will give you criminal justice results, sociology results, and psychology results uh, from journals in those fields, which might not be what you're going for since it's a criminal justice focused course. This Database operates very similarly to Discovery Search, but we'll look more deeply into the tools it has now. After doing your keyword search, for example, take a look at the subject list on the left. We're used to sorting, for example, by academic journals or maybe by date. This database is only searching academic journals, so you don't really need to do that. But if you open up this little drop-down uh, where it says subject, you can sort your results further by adding these terms that the database uses, which will really focus your results. These terms are like hashtags and get assigned to different articles. So you, then you would get articles that are very similar. You can see that in this database, not everything is full text. For example, right here, the second, second item uh, or the sixth item. When you're doing a long-term project, for, an, for a paper that goes through a whole semester, it's acceptable to request an article using the interlibrary loan form. It means that we can perhaps get this article from another library at no cost. Many of these articles may not be available to us because they're new and we don't have access to something that was published so recently, or there might be a couple of other reasons. So it never hurts to give that a try. It's also helpful to use the advanced search which you can click on underneath the search box so that you can add geographic terms, for example, like the United States or even a region uh, or a certain um, demographic, women, children, adolescents. And so that, again, would also make your results more focused. If we go back to the guide, another database I would like to point out is Hein Online. It's important, I feel, to point this out because it looks and operates very differently from any of our other databases. They have, I'm going to, be going to link to a video that this, uh, that this database produces that gives a lot of search tips uh, for this database. Hein is, it contains a lot of law reviews legal journals, and very specific kinds of resources. It's nice because many times you can see the evolution of ideas and laws when you do a search in this database, because laws and statutes build upon each other and connect to each other in a variety of ways, and that affects what you're going to be looking at and how the system and the laws within that system affect people. Like all the other databases, there are tools within the article to help you. You can cite, email, and download. Should have done this search while I was talking, um, but just real quick. You can see the abstract is quite long, okay? Um, and if, if you click on something that looks useful, all right, um, here at the top are all the tools with the icons, linking it, down, emailing it, downloading the PDF, for example, straight to your computer. Back to the guide, I also wanted to point out Google Scholar. It's a tremendous tool for research. It's different than searching Google just on the internet. As you can see, it's scholar.google.com. Getting, it, getting to it from our database will connect, from our libguide, connects Google Scholar to Massasoit Library Resources, which is really, really important, and you'll see why in just a minute. If I do a search for a community or oriented policing, um, 
This Google Scholar searches scholarly resources that are free on the web. You can see on the left some of the filters that are similar to what we have in a database, date ranges for example, and on the right you can see that Google Scholar connects back to Massasoit, so you might not have found this article in a regular database search, but you, but you found it here in Google Scholar. We have another video about even more Scholar tricks, but one thing I like are these two buttons here. This Quotes button and this Cited by. The Citations button are, oh, not this one, sorry. The Cited by button is a list of articles that use the article that you're looking at. Okay, and then the related articles finds articles that are similar to this one. And so Google Scholar can really help you find things that you might not find otherwise. I strongly encourage students uh, at this level to make an appointment with me here. You can use uh, the buttons here on the right hand side of the guide and or send me an email for any research needs that you have. You could be having topic creation issues, source finding issues, or figuring out how to put it together and sometimes talking through it can be really, really helpful. I hope this advanced video gave you a quick look at more tools that you can use in your research, which will also give you more confidence to keep working on it. Stay safe and well, and good luck with your project.